As spring arrives, circuses begin to make their grand entrances in towns and cities throughout the country. But this year, the spotlight won't be on the performances of the animals, but on their treatment, and what happens when the roar of the crowd dies down and you can hear the elephants cry. Recently, the United States Department of Agriculture ordered the confiscation of 16 elephants from the Hawthorne Corporation for numerous violations of the Animal Welfare Act. Hawthorne Corporation is probably one of the larger suppliers, if not the largest supplier, of elephants for performance in the United States with a total of about 16 animals, plus a number of tigers and other cats. The elephants, though, are the ones that have been in the spotlight over the past 10 or 12 years in terms of problems with the way Hawthorne manages animals, keeps animals, treats animals. One of the most tragic cases was their elephant, Tyke, who escaped after killing a circus trainer. Tyke was gunned down on the streets of Honolulu. It took almost 100 bullets and two hours to kill her. The idea that the USDA has actually gone and presented a case that has led to them saying to an exhibitor, you will divest yourself of these animals, is mind-boggling because we haven't seen that kind of thing happen. With elephants in the lead, the procession winds its way downtown to Madison Square Garden, six miles away. Circuses have been using elephants for 200 years. For all this time, they've been doing their best to hide what goes on behind the scenes. The circus is truly in the business of selling illusions. When you see an elephant in performance, everything looks like it's hunky-dory, the animal's working beautifully. She gets told what to do, she does it, everybody smiles, they pat her on the head and she leaves the ring. Well, when she leaves the ring, she's going to go to either chain line, or she might, if she's lucky, get into a pen where she has some room to move, confined by an electric wire. But that's her life. And like all wild animals used for entertainment, training often involves force. Whenever an elephant is intended to be working right beside people, that animal has been taught that she is subordinate to those individuals, that they are the boss, that what they say goes. How do you do that? You do it by intimidation, fear, domination, physical abuse, if necessary, and it always is at some point in that animal's life. The Humane Society of the United States hopes that the Hawthorne case has helped set a precedent for the future. We look at this confiscation or this, this disposition of these animals from Hawthorne as a huge step in terms of the whole performing elephant issue. Um, the USDA has sent a very strong message saying enough is enough, and it's something we've all been looking for for a long time, especially with this one exhibitor. There are still many other circuses and exhibitors out there, so there is a long road ahead in the fight to protect performing elephants and other wild animals used for entertainment. But there is something you can do. If a circus comes to town that's using wild animals, think twice before you plunk your money down and go sit under that tent. Think about what the animals go through and think about what you're doing when you sit there next to an elephant in a ring. It's only money that keeps these operations going. By avoiding circuses that use animals, you can contribute to a future where elephants are no longer seen under the big top. I'm Sydney Smith for Animal Channel.